What's that for? What do you mean? <laughs> the cane. David, I'm blind. Wait, do you not know that? No. I thought Rachel would have told you. She didn't tell me anything. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I think I would remember if she told me you were f***ing blind. I am more overwhelmed than a moth at a candlelight vigil. Guys don't want to date a blind girl. Let me ask you a question. Can you still taste food? Oh, yeah. Can you listen to good music? Yeah. Okay, then why the fuck wouldn't I want to go hang out with you? Oh, thank God. Trickeration! Got long hair. Right? Smells good, too. So do you have, like, super smell and stuff? No. Well, she's not daredevil, fella. What other eyes do you have? That's beautiful. Really? Yeah, I wasn't even looking. That was a book in your if you guess which hand I'm holding out, then you get to pick what we're eating. Deal. Judy Patootie alert! Right hand. No. Did you just switch them? No! <laughs> I think I just already switched them. No, I didn't! You did, I already switched them. Oh my god, you wanna drive? <laughs> yes, I got it. You made that joke work 30 seconds in? You are- okay, just start looking for chapels now. You guys already have more chemistry than a Breaking Bad Bunsen burner. That put me in a good mood, dude. I feel like skipping down the street to a Hall & Oates song or something. Hey, guy! Now, hold on just a minute, maid. You are quite simply a cutie. For this one, you're opening up a tropic can of whoop-ass on the bad husband, setting this example. Other orange puns. I salute you. <laughs> I didn't bring a lot of cheese for this time. You didn't bring a lot of cheese for no, Then why is your bag so heavy? Because it's not cheese. It's a lot of cheese. Show us the cheese bag, Carlo. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see our go, dude. So that's already a lot. You said not a lot. Because we're gonna go just for tomorrow. <laughs> and this will make for you. Why? I told you not to do that. Did you bring back some diabetic neuropathy too? Because you, sir, are too sweet. Get honey roasted. I feel bad that it takes up space in your suitcase. Look, I'm a straight man who's never said this in my life, but you are a bleedy pie! <laughs> oh, <I'm> fella! <laughs> oh, I feel like basketballing right now. <laughs> Why are you making me do this in a public park right now, man? What's your inspiration? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> How was your day today? Oh my goodness, it was hectic. Yeah, I lost a nail. I spy a couple of cutie pies! Is your mommy? Well, sort of. <laughs> call her mommy. Okay, cool it. You know, there's children at play. Oh, no. I'd never be one to question the quality of your work. Because you're not being careful. So okay. that's not my fault. You tell him, my sister in Christ! Are we gonna get this one fixed, yes or no? That would be excellent. <laughs> she knows her worth! Standing on business! I can take care of yourself. <laughs> oh girl, I'm trying. Just do your best at how it's Oh, she's a motivational speaker too? Call her Tanya Robbins. Honey roasted! You're such a good dad, your lawn pulls its own weeds to avoid disappointing you. Honey roasted! You're such a good dad, your GPS comes to you for direction. Good honey roasted! This is good. So we have. Ow. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you, gentle baby Jesus. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Oprah, for some reason. I was watching a video the other day of two grandparents who had been together for 68 years, and the grandma was draped all over him like they were still teenagers. Like everyone, I thought, what is their secret, you know? Literally, as I thought that, I got my answer. So much you can't even get it in your head. <laughs> but every five minutes. <laughs> he tells you? Yes. This week, I also saw a study that said marriages that reported high amounts of generosity were 32% more likely to be happy in their marriage. Scholastic receipts! This fella did both of these things.
sweet mother of Susan B. Anthony. He's holding a dog too. Uh, you're so sweet that when mosquitoes bite you, other mosquitoes hand them an insulin kit. Get honey roasted. You're so nice, you courteously flush your farts. Get honey roasted. Sir, I saw on your Instagram that you play college football for the Tennessee Volunteers, so you obviously love trophies. So I'm excited to present to you the number one fellow award for the inaugural Green Flag Guy Gala. Hey, guy! Now hold on just a minute, maid. You are quite simply a cutie. For this one, you're opening up a tropic can of whoop ass on the bad husband set in this example. Other orange puns. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Male constituent! <laughs> She's fragile. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. I am happier than a mosquito ordering a Bloody Mary. Are you crying? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you tell him, Nate! Beautiful man. I love you. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord. Oh, mom. What are you, a cherub? How are you this nice? Oh, I want to kiss her so bad. <laughs> Don't dare. I will not. You're so nice, you make a YouTube apology video for your coffee table every time you bump into it. Get honey roasted! Anyway, great work, Nate, and congrats to you guys. You come here. Are you pregnant? No! Are you? Oh God! Oh God, please don't throw the frogs! Are you? Well, 2024 is a leap year, but not for them. They'll be mending on the lily pads for the foreseeable future, but that, 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 that's okay. <laughs> oh God! You're so nice, you'd make negative Nancy change her name to positive Patricia. Get honey roasted! In all seriousness, congrats you two on the new two. I left you a message several days ago. I don't like leaving second messages. So here's how it's going to work. <laughs> if I do not receive a phone call back from you by 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, I'm no longer interested. Hey, live and drop! We found the big brother. Oh my goodness, that look made me feel safe. You're so safe, car insurance has used a picture of you and your martini glasses added protection. Get honey roasted! Believe it or not, I'm a complete catch. The only thing you're catching is felonies, okay, guy? If you're psychologically normal and you haven't called me because there's been some horrible thing that's happened in your life which prevented you, that's fine. Has anyone ever told you that you look like former MLB pitcher Roger Clemens? Except you don't throw fastballs, you throw cans, don't you? And the fact that you got that teeny front and center for the whole internet to see. Th that is the manliest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not even kidding. I salute you, sir. <laughs> Bella! <laughs> my heart is so warm, you could drop a tub of Toll House on it and Santa would sniff the air and grab a plate. Dude, you're so heartwarming, you changed today's forecast. Get honey roasted, dude! But wait! I actually got in touch with this dad. So I was born on Halloween, so I have an emotional sweet tooth for this holiday. So I DM'd him to see if any kids ever came by. And uh, I learned a few things. First, I asked him if this was his first time giving out full-size candy bars. He said, no, we do that every year. It's a little more expensive, but it's for the kids, so why not? <laughs> I asked him his favorite candy. He said, Reese's. <laughs> and I asked him if any kids ever came by the house. And he said, I did end up with about 20 to 25 trick-or-treaters. Yeah, dude, yippee! Oh, I am happier than a tornado at a trailer park. You're a good dad, dude. I salute you. What? What? I am more fired up than a rooster in a room full of 6 a.m. alarm clocks. Yeah! 
حيفا <تصفيق> Look, I grew up in the South, and half the parents at these kids' competitive events, they're like, That's bullshit, Beth! You better not go to the parking lot after this. You better jet back home if you want to keep your job. Or they're like, The point is they may forget the embarrassment that they get from your support, but they won't forget how you conducted yourself. So good work. Pink has never been so green. Oh, fella! Oh, I feel like basketballing right now. <laughs> Why are you making me do this in a public park right now, man? My wife was crocheting our daughter's blankets for Christmas, and I looked over and just offhandedly, jokingly said, Oh, those look nice. I wish I had one of those. And she said, I can make you like a little lap thing. And I was like, Honey, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I was like, I don't. If I want a blanket, it has to be like massive. Okay, I did not know the amount of time that it takes to get like a pass in, let alone an entire project like the girls' blankets, let alone the. I did not know how much yarn was used or how much that yarn cost. This woman made me. <laughs> I can't even get it in the shot all the way. This feels like love. I don't know if I'll ever be able to show how much I appreciate this enough after I learned about what it took to make it. My heart is so full, my neighbor just grew a beard and built a wooden ship. <coughs> it takes 67% of people over 20 hours to crochet a small blanket. This one is so big you could lie it down and clock my 40 time on it. Since she started on this before Christmas, your wife worked on this in secrecy for almost two months. This must have taken dozens of hours. <coughs> no wonder you're so appreciative. You're both green flags in my book. I love this. My work here is done. But it's so much effort. You got three bunts out of the oven with no issues? Look, I watch a lot of Great British Bake Off. I have seen this cake make contestants cry often. Okay, if you're gonna make the hibachi onion tower, I'm gonna need you to grab a spatula and make some choo-choo noises. What do they call it when people take the bunt out of the pan too aggressively? Bunt force trauma? You're not even a green flag, you're a green forest, fella. Oh, my blood sugar's running low, I need to take a knee. I need something sweet quick before I pass out. Oh. Fellas, you just work 12 hours outside and come home. Eat it. I'm gonna eat the hell out of that hamburger helper. <laughs> I'm gonna take them two pieces of white bread. I'm make little hamburger helper tacos. People wanna know why marriages are failing and it's because it's a partnership. There's no entitlement in marriage. If I'm out busting my ass 12, 13, 14 hours a day to provide for my family, that's my part. And my wife is managing our household, the budget and her sanity. That's her part. We can't do one without the other. I'm grateful if she can make a meal. If she can't, that's fine too. Because truthfully, I'm just grateful that I have somebody who loves me enough to think about me while I'm at work. <coughs> Marriage is a partnership. You eat what your wife makes. And if she's going to do something to make your day a little bit easier, then you need to do something to make her day a little bit easier too. Did you just eat something rotten? Because you're spitting. Get honey roasted. I salute you. Every single time I go out, People will come up to me. If I have my four daughters, they'll come up to me and they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. All my kids can speak and understand English. They know what you're saying. You tell them, fella. If I had a fifth child, I'd hope it was a girl. I love having girls. I love being a girl dad. I put together a list of top three things you should never say to a girl dad in front of their daughters. Number three, oh, you're outnumbered in your house. What is this, Armageddon? They're not serpents, you know? They're children. Number two, oh, I bet the terrible twos were bad in your house. Have you seen boys? I grew up with three kid siblings. When my sisters got mad, they would just quietly fix the bow in their hair and saunter off into their room to go pout and play with their dollhouses. When my brother got mad, he would glide down the hallway like a banshee, just 
Number one, I bet you're ready to try for a boy now, huh? Girl dads, the next time you hear this, I want you to spread a look of fake concern all over your face and go, oh, or why are these broken? And watch the liquid dysentery slide down their socks. Oh, your daughters are gonna dish out so many my dad could beat up your dad comments.